All right guys, Papa Pepper here for the Abundant Harvest Homestead again. I got a lot going on and I have to kind of fit some of the stuff in or it becomes worthless. One of them is I picked up this seedling and it's dormant right now, but it's a seedling of a peach tree that grew from seed. I showed you one that's about three years old in my, uh, eh, is that chicken pen or duck pen? Probably the chicken pen. And um, it's doing marvelous. It really is. And it started out just like this three years ago. Now this one does have a couple I'll probably prune off of it, um, which would be this one here and this one here, and probably just try to grow up a straight stem to start with. But I'm gonna get this thing established first. It's got some healthy roots. So I'm in one of the pastures we're building up. And one thing that we wanna do is we wanna allow a good grazing area for our sheep. Also our cow, and if we ever get goats again. So this whole area behind me, whoa, is rather open. But I also want to put some trees out here that can work for shade for the animals. Um, the animals can kind of keep it groomed around them, and then uh, they can also fertilize these. So we can have these fruit trees growing as part of a shade system for our pasture animals. The pasture animals can be fertilizing them, and then we can be getting food from an area that's also providing food for our sheep, which you hear in the background. So I'm just gonna dig a little hole here, put this in. Um, just gonna kind of run this pretty raw. Um, sometimes I'll amend it and put some rabbit manure in and stuff like that to help get it started. I should probably do that. I'm going to. There's a reason I do it. I'm gonna continue to do that. And uh, we'll just start off with the hole. And I like to dig my holes a little bit bigger, have kind of some soft, loose soil dig it down a little bit deeper. This one should be able to stay alive through the winter, especially we got kind of a rainy season. And then in the spring, wake up in place and be ready to start its new life here. So here we've got a lot of rock and clay. This isn't that big of a hole, but it's pretty, pretty sticky clay. And then did get a couple of decent sized rocks out of it too. If I was doing this sometime in the heat of summer, there's two things I would probably consider. Number one, I'm on a downhill slant. So whatever didn't fit back in, cause I'm gonna add some amendment and you know, fertilizer, some rabbit manure to here. I would create pretty much a little horseshoe around here. So if the water's kind of slowly running downhill whenever it does rain, um, it would kind of work as a catch. It would allow it in and kind of send it down here. That's one thing I could do. Another thing I like to do is to take a five gallon bucket and right at the bottom of it, just drill a little hole. Five gallons of water is pretty big. If you have a little hole, it just kind of slowly leaks out over time. Um, I'm not even sure, you know, less than a quarter inch, I'm talking maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a 16th, but you often have to cover a bucket because if a little bit of dirt or debris gets in there, it'll plug that hole and then your five gallon bucket won't, uh, won't be watering the plant anymore. So when they get in place, they need to be moist. If they dry out, that's gonna be a problem. So in the heat of summer, I like to do that. Fill up my five gallon bucket, just let it slowly trickle out, keep the soil moist around it, and then just kind of keep an eye on it. Make sure the uh, soil's staying moist and maybe it's every couple days or something like that, fill it back up. So. Over our years of homesteading, a lot's kind of changed and we've learned things and done different things. Rabbits we used to have as one of our primary food sources, but some years ago we changed up our diet. So we still have rabbits and we keep them, but the reason that we do is for their manure. Now rabbit manure is a nice cold manure, meaning it's not hot, it won't burn your plants. So you can apply it directly to the top of the soil. We like putting it around our fruit trees. We like top dressing our garden with it, especially in the off season. Then when we plant it in the spring, as it kind of rains, it washes all that stuff down into the soil and helps feed the plants. Or we'll make like a rabbit manure tea by adding a lot of water to it and then pouring that directly on the plants as well. So these rabbits, this is a young buck the children hatched out a little bit ago. Good looking rabbit are still welcome on our property. It's just that we no longer eat them. And they do provide us with some really good resources. So with this manure, 
We're feeding them a bit of hay right now just to make sure to keep them healthy. And the hay we use does have seeds in it. I'm not gonna be top dressing my garden with rabbit manure that contains seeds for different pasture grasses. That's not gonna work out well for us. So I'm gonna actually compost it first like I would chicken manure or horse manure or other hot manure. I don't normally have to do that, but to make sure that none of those seeds make it to the garden, we're gonna compost it first. However, since I'm planting this uh, fruit tree, this young peach tree, out in a pasture, I don't care if there's pasture grass seeds out here because we're trying to build up the pasture with different uh, grasses and stuff that's gonna be good fodder for our animals, good food and forage for the sheep and the cow, and we'll see what else we get in the future. So I'm gonna set this guy down, add a little bit of this manure, and uh, get this tree planted because I've got something more important to attend to in just a moment. This tree isn't one of my priorities, but I don't want to lose it by having it freeze in the winter and not be planted in the soil. So I wanted to get that done while I had a moment waiting for my friend. For now, I'm gonna help mark this area with a couple little rocks that came out of that hole. But as we move forward, I will be putting probably three T-posts and a small fence around this so when we do release the sheep into here, they don't nibble this down to nothing. Depending on what they wanna do, some of the trees, they'll nibble all the bark off. Um, if they wanna do that with these fruit trees, I will um, you know, keep them protected. But if they're gonna let them be fine, once they get up and over them, I'll just leave it unprotected and they won't be able to reach the higher branches. But that's planted. Um, I'll check the forecast. If it's not gonna rain, I'll add a little bit of water to it later. But for right now, I gotta go check on this wood stove and see what we need to do to get it ready to use in our house. I just gotta put this little bunny back first. So here it is. That's the wood stove we brought down with us in 2015 when we moved here. The neighbors let us store it here until we'd be able to use it. Now we're able to use it. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. This here is the issue. This came off the top of here. So I gotta find a way to get this back up there and uh, we'll see what we can do. has been over 
over five years since the end of 2015 since that wood stove there has been in a vehicle and moving it's pretty much sat still when we sold our house up in Wisconsin we're gonna move down here to the Ozarks um, some friends let us stay in their cabin next door to their home for a little bit while I finished up my work and got a couple things prepared while we were doing that um, their wood stove that that metal plate had broken off so they got a new one now they knew it just needed to be welded back on but they couldn't do that at the time and they had uh, somebody else who had just got a new one who gave them their old one so we actually helped a little bit with that switching them out and then they said we could have this one so I've got the wood stove the cover some side plates and some pipe which I'll have to check the quality of it you'll save me some money if I can use it that we now can put together I just have to get this thing welded up and my workmate Tiguano who we go you know do a lot of my work when I travel he was down there in Lake Charles Louisiana with me cleaning up hurricane stuff and fixing new you know building up new stuff um, he's got a welder and he's got the experience it would be a good thing for me to pick up one day and maybe I'll learn it one day but right now I don't have that talent he does and he's willing to help so nice to have a good support system nearby nice to have people who are willing to help you out so we got it in the back of here we're gonna pull it out and see if we can weld this up and that's exciting and if so he'll help me I think carry it into my house and put it in my place so that'll be good here we go
Hey, hey bugger. What is that? Um, a wood stove. A wood stove. What's it for? Um, to buy wood stove. To, to burn wood in our house, right? Mm hmm Are you excited? Mm hmm We'll make it nice and warm in our house? Mm hmm yeah. You give me a big thumbs up. Would you look at that? Now, a couple things need to happen. We're going to clean it up a bit. It's a bit dusty. Those tile side plates, one goes on this side and the other one goes on this side, but we're gonna kind of wipe it up. Clean it up first. I really wanted this in last year, but if I would have put it in last year, I probably would have put it in this corner, which would not have been as good. So I'm very happy that we didn't put it over here. That wouldn't have made as much sense. As putting it over here, um, recording this late Saturday night so I can get this video up. We moved this in yesterday, so we've had the majority of today anyway and a bit last night to look at it. We did set an oil lantern on top of it yesterday and we're able just to enjoy that little glow of a little firelight last night. And then we've been looking at it today and even as you enter this whole room, Mama's got the baby there, but as you enter this whole room, it just creates such a different feeling. And Mama, what do you think? It does. I think it creates a different atmosphere for our house and just a very warming, homey feel. And so, yeah. I think a lot more like uh, home-like or even cabin-like yep. as opposed to mobile home trailer-like. Yes. And we actually got this wood stove from some very special friends back home in Wisconsin that gave it to us before we had our home. And now we finally get to bring it out of storage and put it in. So, All right, super we're really exciting. About it. Super exciting. And the cool thing too is I really do like the look of it right now. Um, also, I've still got some stuff. I got tools on here and other things I've been working with as I've been in this zone. But we still got you know a big chair there. There's a big chair there. Big chair here. Chair there. Chair there. And a couch. That all that fits in here pretty well. And uh, we didn't lose really that much space. And then, Pinky, can you go show what's going to happen if we have a lot of company over sometime? Oh, we're going to sit here? Yeah. yeah, Bugger, can you go show? Yeah. Right next to her. So, we'll be able to have the kids, even in the summer, our kids at least, be trained to sit like this. So if we have some families over or something and we kind of fill up with people, um, we won't lose much seating because... We can probably fit all of our kids on there, huh? Yeah, more than just all of us. More than just all of you? Yeah. So even if a friend wants to sit on hard rocks instead of a comfy <laughs> instead of a comfy couch, they could join you, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, bugger, don't stomp on it. Okay, it is solid, and I'm happy it is, but let's not abuse it and cause it to break down early or anything like that. So this has been years in the making. We've had this thing since it was given to us back in Wisconsin in 2015. It's finally now at the beginning of 2021 um, going on and even I was finishing up the rock on the 6th as a bunch of stuff was happening at the US Capitol and I kind of I paused and was watching some live streams and some stuff just not really sure what all was going to happen to our nation and of course we're still uncertain but then I realized you know what if everything kind of blows over and nothing happens I'm going to want this finished. And then I thought, you know what, if things hit the fan harder than they ever have since, since back in the day, I, will, uh, I want this finished. So kind of kept an eye on things, spent some time praying and stuff, but wanted to finish this up. And then I was really surprised we were actually able to get this thing welded up and moved in. I wasn't thinking it was going to head that quick, but now I've got some stove pipe. I've got an opportunity to go straight up from there through the roof, put this thing going. Sometime even this next week, it could just take a day to get her done. I'm not sure how it's all gonna go, but soon we could have our first campfire, our first wood stove fire, heating our house with our own wood from our land and um, you know, do that live stream. You guys would talk about you'd like to join us for a live stream if we get it done, so we're gonna try that, aren't we, Mama? Yes. Yes, we are. And darling, how'd you like that first live stream we did? It was fun. It was good to finally get on there and do one together. I guess you had done one by yourself. I think I did one or two before that, okay. but from hotel rooms. So, yeah, it was good to be on there together. I think it gives us a good opportunity to interact more with, you know, our subscribers and stuff too in real time. 
and um, boy for a lot of them have been watching this project for a while waiting for it to come together and I think if we can fire it up the first time and do a live stream that'll be really good too and I want you guys to look at this you know you can't really you can tell but you can't really even pick out too much at a distance um, where where this air section comes in so actually I was shining a flashlight down here the other day to show the family how it's got air intake along the back of that thing and if this heats up it should work great um, it'll be of course another good air barrier so our wall don't get too hot I don't think it's gonna obviously with that much thick stuff on there but if it heats up as that hot air goes out the top it'll be drawing air in colder air at the bottom and just help be more effective at heating our house that's exciting and then we also but the cool thing too is that we have something really special planned for our walls. We've kicked around a lot of ideas, thought about some stuff, have some stuff planned, and I think if we can pull it off the way we want to, it's gonna completely change really the entire like feel of this of this building that we call our home. So look forward to that. I just gotta get this done first to move on to things like that and uh, we'll see how it goes. And now, I'll, uh, I got a special clip I'm going to roll for our outro based on what we did in the other video. We'll see you next time. Pop out. Thank you for watching!